everybody. I'm Carla Bailo. I'm the Senior Vice President of Research and Development, which includes engineering and quality uh, for this product and all the products that are, are sold in the Americas. What I want to start with, I'm going to give you a brief business update of uh, Nissan overall in North America, and then I'm going to go into how the engineering teams here in the Americas worked on this product. As we have announced uh, a long time ago, we had five product launches all within the last 18 months, and today is the fifth of those five, and it represents 70% of our total sales uh, in the Americas. We offer a broad product range, everything from the full-size truck down to the EV, and in every product, we make sure that we include elements of innovation and the driving experience is paramount to success. When we look at, at the range from the Leaf to the Rogue, and the Rogue especially, you're going to notice when you drive the vehicle later today that really there's all kinds of uh, wonderful yeah. features yeah. and the driving experience itself is, is very well balanced for the enthusiast as well as for the everyday driving. Let me talk about the sales currently, calendar year to date. We've sold nearly 950,000 cars, and that is an 8.6% increase for the calendar year to date. Nissan alone is about 860,000, a little over, and that represents a 10.3% sales increase this year. What models? It's mostly the models that we've recently launched. The Pathfinder alone, the sales are up nearly 195%. Altima, 6.6% in its second year of production. Sentra, 14.5%, and this is its first year after launch. Rogue is also up 13.6%. That's uh, the old Rogue, not the new Rogue. So the CUV segment, as we know, is continuing to grow, and we're keeping pace with that. And the Versa, our other new launch, is 7% increase from last year, and it's its second year of production. Nissan continues to lead the way in sustainable mobility, and we don't continue to waver from that path. If you look at the LEAF EV alone, our sales are up 208% calendar year to date, September. We have seven consecutive monthly sales records globally. 25,000 plus in the U.S., 10,000 plus in Europe, 30,000 plus in Japan, and over 83,000 on a global basis. As I think probably many of you already know, leaf production is being done here locally in Smyrna, and also the batteries are now being made in Smyrna. For the first time since we joined with uh, Renault, this is our first globally shared platform. It's called CMF Platform. It took the best elements of the Nissan C-Segment platform and the best of the Renault C-Segment and blended them together to have the optimized uh, uh, platform that we could then utilize on our products globally for both companies. In terms of numbers, when we look just at Nissan's side, the Rogue is shared with uh, the X-Trail and the Qashqai on a global basis. Rogue, there's over 647,000 sold in the U.S. And X-Trail, globally, more than 800,000 sold. And uh, the X-Trail is mainly marketed in Europe and Asia. When you look at uh, how the CMF uh, architecture was, was managed, we've been a, a partner with Renault since 1999. And now it's 2013, and this is our first first shared platform, and many people probably think that it's, it's a long time, but actually it's not. Uh, when you really think about how, what has to happen in order to choose the best elements of the platform, what models you want to put it on, what segment does it make sense, talk about the global purchasing strategy, etc. So the CMF is shared with Renault, and because we're sharing it, and you look at some of the volumes, and this does not include Renault volumes, it really adds uh, efficiencies in terms of vehicle development, how we can share and develop the platforms, which elements, the manpower required to do so is less, and secondly, the, uh, the purchasing power that it gives us by having this kind of volume. We're going to sell this platform in more than 190 countries globally. And what did my team in the U.S. do um, 
for the American development. First of all, we are responsible for anything related to uh, vehicle performance. So from the very early stages of this product, we were involved in establishing all of the target performances for this car. And what did we do differently for the American market? We made sure that the fuel efficiency was as it needed to be. Secondly, the handling and ride was what our customers expected. Because of our brand identity, of course, we want confident and assured driving. This is part of our safety shield concept. Connectivity, which is obviously what the American customer is asking for more and more every day. And we also took a look at the PQ and made sure that the materials would satisfy our customer. Let me digress for a moment and tell you a little bit about how the engineering teams here in the U.S worked on this product. As I mentioned, we were integral in the target performance setting from the very beginning. We did all of the tuning for the U.S. market. We have spent countless hours on quality and quality validation over the last few months. Starting about six months ago, I've had a team of between 10 and 20 people on site in the plants um, working on making sure that every element is covered and that the vehicle coming off the line is going to be the highest quality. And I already mentioned this car is built in Smyrna. Within the Americas, we have four main groups. I just want to inform you about, we have Nissan Technical Center in North America, and this is where we do all of our vehicle and development. I think some of you have been to, to the office there uh, and visited. And plus, we have purchasing and manufacturing support functions there. The Arizona Test Center, which is what you see in the lower right of the, of the, of the slide, that uh, is where we do all of our dynamic testing. We also do fuel cell research and durability testing at our office in Sacramento, California. And it recently opened, about a year ago, we're doing autonomous vehicle development at our newly opened office in Silicon Valley. As I mentioned, quality is paramount on this car, as it is on every car. It's the first U.S. built rogue that uh, is being made in Smyrna. Previously, this car came from Kyushu in Japan. We were able to celebrate recently our 10 millionth vehicle, and it just so happened to be the rogue. NNA quality teams are in every single manufacturing plant, but in addition to that, we now have NTCNA launch teams or satellite offices located in every plant so that we can make sure that we're hitting the quality targets and should something be seen on the assembly line or if something be seen by the dealers at any place in the process, immediately we get that information within 24 hours and we can fix it in the plant or we get a denote or we put a temporary measure in to make sure that we get the quality where it needs to be. Secondly, we were much more involved in the early upstream stages because as everybody knows in the digital process you have to have your design finalized and ready for the digital review which are well before you even start making prototype vehicles and my team was deeply involved in those again to make sure the targets were right that the quality was right and that we could build the car with the utmost quality the manufacturing teams were also looking at that digital data and making sure that the technicians would be able to build the car properly the road production shift to the Americas, it's part of the strategy to build 85% of the products sold in the U.S. and North America, and we'll hit that goal in 2015. As I mentioned, this is the fifth of five. Smyrna's been busy, and uh, it's been a challenge, but uh, we've got some great products coming out. The Infiniti Q60 was the first car to launch, followed by the Altima Pathfinder, Leaf, and now today, happily, the road. And there's more to come. We now have six core models produced in Smyrna. We had to start a third shift. That was done about a year ago. There are two lines, so we have several of, the, of different products coming off the same line, and 60 JPH on each line. This year, we'll build almost 500,000 cars in Smyrna. And in calendar year 14, we're going to be in the, in the neighborhood of 600,000 plus. Thank you for your attention. Now